Uh, I'm uh, Chief Warrant Officer 2, Matthew Black, and this is the uh, Apache AH-64 Delta model. Uh, we've got uh, three main weapon systems on this helicopter. We've got the 30mm uh, uh, chain gun. We carry Hellfire missiles as well as 70mm uh, uh, Hydra rockets. The, uh, the biggest thing that makes this helicopter better than most is the uh, we have a FLIR system that allows us to see at night uh, better than anyone else. We also have a uh, day TV and a laser designator. This here is the pilot night vision system. Uh, allows the pilot to fly with a FLIR system as opposed to a uh, uh, night vision goggles. The 30mm uh, uh, machine gun can shoot out to uh, 4 kilometers and can uh, take out light armor as well as uh, personnel. So the uh, Hellfire missile system can go out to uh, 8 kilometers, uh, designed for uh, heavy armor as well as uh, vehicles and personnel. And the uh, Hydra 70 rockets can shoot out to uh, 7 kilometers and with a range of warheads from uh, uh, flechettes to uh, smoke rounds and uh, uh, high explosive rounds as well. And we can also shoot uh, covert and covert alum rockets with the rocket pods as well. In the front crew station is where the co-pilot and the gunner sits. He can fly the aircraft from there as well, uh, but his primary function is operating the weapons systems. In the uh, back seat the, is where the pilot sits. He can fire weapons from there as well, but his primary job is to fly the aircraft. And then uh, as you move back on the helicopter, we get to the uh, one of the engines on this side. It's a General Electric 701 engine. It can carry about, or uh, produces approximately 1,900 shaft horsepower. And then you can see on the uh, side of the aircraft, these extensions, uh, that's where a lot of the electronics go that wouldn't fit in the uh, Alpha model. <laughs> Normally the, heli the Apache works in a team of uh, two, four, or eight, uh, depending on the mission. If it's a uh, counterinsurgency type mission, uh, they'll generally fly in pairs, and you'll have uh, one bird that flies lower than the other, and is the primary uh, shooter, where the other one covers the first aircraft, and as well as uh, providing another an additional sensor. In a uh, more force-on-force -force type operation, you'll work in larger teams of four to eight aircraft, maybe even more more, where you'll have uh, one to several aircraft with the uh, fire control radar or FCR and they will unmask the aircraft where, uh, where they can see the battlefield. They'll do a scan, remask, and then send any targets to the air other aircraft to minimize uh, the exposure uh, to as few aircraft as possible. Uh, from there, uh, you can uh, prosecute targets from uh, another position where they were not masked bef before, so the enemy does not know where you are. So when the uh, when you use the FCR, the fire control radar, you can uh, scan for targets. You can briefly unmask the, tar uh, the helicopter from behind its cover or the trees, buildings, whatever, and then remask the aircraft. You can then fire the missiles, uh, your, uh, your RF or uh, radar frequency missiles, from behind cover over the what's protecting you, whether it be buildings, trees, mountains, something like that. Um, <clears throat> so you don't have to expose the aircraft after that initial uh, unmask. And then the other aircraft that you send the targets to can do the same. So, and the other uh the other regular, the SAL missiles, the laser laser guided missiles, you do have to uh, uh, you have to maintain contact with the target the whole time. Whereas the radar missiles, you don't have to. You can shoot from a masked position. Uh, so the uh, Apache helicopter, with all these weapons and sensors and everything, it's uh, been able to do every job that the Army's asked me to do with it, and uh, you can do more. It seems to be the uh, best helicopter out there for uh, attack helicopter purposes. Several uh, promises, and this is part of the.